What's good, friends and family? <clears throat> Mr. Flip Flop here with another video for you guys. Um, this video is going to be about transitioning into living abroad. You know, how do you transition into moving out of the country and get yourself acclimated to the culture or to the just your surroundings living abroad? Uh, first off, you guys always hit me up. You know, if you guys got any content you want to see, any information, any videos you would like me to do, I have a lot of videos backed up, but any any videos you guys want to see, drop me a comment in the video or send me an email and uh, we'll see if we get that done. I'm trying to get back to doing the videos twice a week if I can. As you guys know, I'm really busy. Some of you guys see me at the bar 15 hours a day. I'm running around answering emails and, and text messages, so it gets a little crazy sometimes. But um, let's get into uh, this uh, transitioning into living abroad. Now, first off, we talked about you know the how, when, why in the past videos about getting ready to move into another country. But now you're here. So how do you make your transition a simple one? Um, we researched the culture, right? I hope we did. I hope we just moved to the country and before we moved there, we got to know the culture and knew what country we're going to and what, what type of culture we'll be around. So researching the culture before you come is big and while you're here getting to know the culture is big as well. I, I stress that a lot. Also the language. You know, the language is big. You want to know the language even the basics so you can communicate okay that'll make your transition by far leaps and bounds you know um you will get homesick it happens you know when you're first down here you know you will miss your family and friends you know but to get you over that you've got to get outside a little bit explore get to know the locals go eat where the locals eat go um you know get to know a few people everybody's not your friend obviously but get to know a few people and uh, go hit the local restaurants, go hit the local bars, you know, go stretch out 30 minutes past your house, you know, go, go walk, do some walking around, explore a little bit. Get to know some people in your area and that will help, you know, you overcome the homesickness, which happens, you know, because we're, we're in another country, we're leaving everything behind in our country. So what happens from time to time? And once you get to know a few people, make a few friends, even some expats, um, then things become a little easier for you to have people to talk to. Uh, so I always find that exploring, getting outside helps with the transition, as well as the language. Um, one big thing that I stress, and you see this with my house, um, my red and black house, is making yourself comfortable. You have to do everything possible to make yourself comfortable. Everywhere I ever lived, I needed certain things a certain way. Now, the, where I'm at now, where I've been for, I believe, over a year now, I'm really happy here because everything is the way I want it. You know, my TV is the way I want it, my couch is the way I want it, my cable is the way I want it, my internet, everything's just perfectly the way I want it. I don't need to change much. Um, so, you know, I made myself comfortable. So make yourself comfortable in your home, in your surroundings. You know, that would actually help you, help you in your transition go further. Because once you're comfortable, now you're like, okay, I live here now. I'm living abroad. I'm actually feeling good, I'm comfortable. Your mindset is a little bit, you know, you're a little more calm, stress levels down, because now you're comfortable in your surroundings. Comfortability actually helps with stress, okay? So I stress that a lot. That, look at that, stress that a lot. Comfortability helps with stress. <laughs> um, so be comfortable in your home, in your surroundings. Uh, if you have to have a car, whatever it is, whatever makes you comfortable. Some people play video games. Um, some people cook. Whatever makes you comfortable to, to make, yourself, make you at ease, you know, relaxed. Make yourself comfortable, whatever it is. You figure it out personally and you can be comfortable and that comfortability will help you in your transition. Um, as I said before, take trips, explore, go out. You're, you're living abroad now. Don't just stay in one town, go explore the country. You know, if, if you have to get a taxi, you have to get a guide, do so. You know, a couple bucks, a taxi will take you anywhere you wanna go, be your guide for you. If you, if you need uh, help speaking another language, uh, like help speaking Spanish, They'll translate for you if need be. You know, you can find a guide. You can find somebody to take you around town, take you around other, other parts of the country. You know, but explore. Get out and see different things. Don't just get stuck in whatever town you decide to live in and just say, I'm, I'm cool with that. The whole reason of moving and living abroad is to explore a little bit. You're exploring a new life, a new adventure. Get out and explore that country that you decide to live in. When living abroad, you want to explore a little bit. You don't just want to stay in one area. You know, there's so much more to see. I still have so much more to see. And I've been to a a big chunk of this country, but I still have a whole lot more to see, and I will be seeing more, and I'm going to Columbia soon too, so, you know, stay tuned for that. 
Um, like I said, just get outside, make friends. Uh, one thing I will stress, and it came came across my attention in the past two days, learn the money. Yes, learn the money. Now in the Dominican Republic, the money's kind of like monopoly money, as I've told you guys before. So it can go pretty fast without you realizing it. So learn the money because you'll end up spending a few hundred dollars and thinking you spent 20 bucks. So you got to learn the money. Like in Dominican Republic right now, it's, it's, it's 50, 40 to 1 or something like that. So I'd tell everybody 50. Every 50 is $1. That's just to round it off. 50 to $1. So every 50 you spend is a dollar. So 100 pesos is 2 bucks. Uh, 200 pesos is 4 bucks. 500 pesos is 10 bucks. These are the denominations now. 1,000 pesos is 20 bucks. 2,000 pesos is 40 bucks. Everything in denominations are 50. That's how I do it. 50 is one dollar. It makes sense in the dollar. Canadians a little different. It's a little bit lower, but 50 to the 50 to 50 to every dollar, just to make sense of it. And a lot of people who live here still haven't done the math and realize that, you know, you gotta take care of your money or you're just gonna blow it. You know, know the price of things. Another thing, learn the price of things. That'll actually help your transition more than anything. Learn the price of actual things. They say this gringo price. That's cool. But when you go to different locations, you'll learn the prices. Okay, the price of rice over here is that. The price of a pork chop over there is that. The price of chicken over there is that. Learn the prices so that you know, well, I'm going here. Is this how much it costs? That's it. Learn prices. Price of a beer in certain locations. Learn prices. This way you have never have to second guess yourself. A lot of expats out here go to certain places, sometimes flip-flop for the specials. They only come for the specials. Because they know that day they can get X, X and X, a beer and some wings or a beer and some tacos for X amount of pesos. And they know, hey, that's more, buck, more, more bang for my buck. So they show up on those days. So as an expat, you, you, yeah, you want to learn where the specials are, but you also want to learn how much things cost. So you know where and how you're spending your money. Okay? So like I said, the transition can be easy if you do those few simple things. Um, you know, learn the culture, which is big for me. Learn the language, go out and explore, take trips inside the country you're in. You know, you're living abroad, go explore. Um, learn the money. I find that to be a big thing. Make some friends, expats, locals, whatever it is. Go out, eat the local spots, drink at the local spots. You know, that'll help you transition in the living abroad to make your, your experience better and make you happier. I mean, you know, you don't want to be sitting in the crib just not doing anything. Just say, oh, I can walk to the beach, excuse me, once every once every five days or once every two days, you know, enjoy life. If you're going to live abroad, enjoy life. That's the whole reason you left the country of your origin. So enjoy life. Once again, I appreciate the love. I appreciate the support. If you guys have any video ideas, any content you want to see that I haven't got to yet, drop it in the comment box or email me. Uh, email, IG, everything's in the description. Take a look in the description. It's in the bottom. <laughs> all right, y'all. So appreciate you guys all over and over and over all the time. Mr. Flip Flop, and I'm out. Nipsey, through all your hard work and obvious sacrifice, what advice would you give your younger self now looking back? Oh, man. I don't know. That's that's a hard one. I would probably say just be more fearless. You know what mm. I mean? I got, I got all my radical moonshots have defined me. I don't be my downfall. My downfall would be, you know, not, not going crazy. Right. And not, mm -hmm. and not, you know having a higher expectation mm -hmm. anytime i didn't set my sight on something that same way outlandish it always come back exactly how i seen it mm. so i think i would tell myself just put way bigger goals up you know on the wall and just have a bigger vision have a higher expectation